Hey everyone, welcome back to Five Flock Fridays. This week we're making animated maps in Minecraft with just five command blocks. So the way the system works is you can take whatever maps you have and it basically slams them together into a single map that cycles through each tick, displaying a different one, leading to an animation. So this is from the Conway's Game of Life that I put together last week. I went through it uh, one frame at a time, updated a map, locked it in place in a cartography table using a glass pane. And once I had all of those, which are these three shulker boxes, I was able to put them together into a single animation. Um, so I will give a explanation of what the commands are and how they work, and then jump into a demonstration of building an animated map using these commands. This first command takes care of adding new frames to the end of the animation. So we're executing as regular item frames at the location of the item frame. We check if the item in the item frame has any map data, and we check if the block beneath us is a cartography table. This align XYZ sets our execution position to the lower corner of the block. And then we check if there's an item entity that is also a filled map and has an age of one in the same block as us. So this DX, DY, DZ equals one combined with align XYZ is a way of saying if the entity is in the same block as us. Then in this run statement, we're doing a data modify command. We're modifying the current item frame but we're actually modifying the item that it's holding. And we are creating or modifying a custom NBT tag called frames. And we are appending from the same entity that we checked for at the end of the execute statement. And we are looking at that entity's map number and adding that to the end of frames. So frames will be a list of map numbers that line up with the maps that we want playing in the animation. These next three commands take care of actually playing the animation, and they have the same execute statement. So we're executing as glowing item frames. This is to keep us separated from the first command, so we don't end up animating a map that we're trying to add frames to, or adding frames to a map that's already fully animated. And this if statement, we're checking the item in the item frame to see if it has that frames custom NBT tag we added in the first command. In the run statement, we're using data modify to change the map value of this item. And this is con controls what map gets displayed when it's held in a hand or in an item frame. And we're setting it from the first value in that frames list. So we have a, a large list of frames and we change our map value to be the same as the first item in that list. This third command has the same exact execute statement as the previous command. In our run statement, we're using data remove to remove that first item of the frames list. Um, this will shift everything else after it to the left. So now the second item becomes the first item and the third item becomes the second item. So everything in the list of frames gets shifted over one and the thing that we just set to our map value has been removed from the list. This fourth command has the same exact execute statement as the previous two. In our run statement, we're using data modify to append our current map value to the end of the list of frames. So functionally, over the course of the tick, we take the value that's at the front of the list of frames, put it in our map value, delete it from the front of the list of frames, and then add it back in to the end. So that will make the animation loop continually. This fifth command is not really necessary for running the animation, but is necessary if you want to keep your sanity while an animation is running. Um, so item frames will make sound whenever the 
item inside it is modified to the same sound it makes if you rotate it or place a new item in the item frame. As you can imagine, that would get really annoying. Here's a brief sample of what it sounds like with that sound playing every single tick. So yeah, you can see why this would be necessary to try to take care of. So we're using the same execute statement as the previous three commands, and we are just using a modify command to set the silent value of this item frame to one. So this will make it so this item frame never makes sound again. Um, I don't have enough command blocks to turn this off, so if you want your item frame to make sound again, just break it and place a new item frame in that spot. But trust me, you don't want it making sound while an animation is running. Alrighty then, so let's have a quick demonstration of putting a new animated map together. So I have this area over here with all the other flat things I've been doing the past few weeks. I have a neon sign of sorts set up. It just says Five Block Friday. Couldn't fit that last S in there, but whatever. Um, and then I have different maps that have been locked at different points. So, as you saw from the commands, you create commands, or you create animations in item frames that are on top of cartography tables, and you throw the maps that you want as the frames on top of it. That little click is it being added to the map. You take this new map, you see it doesn't stack with the map that we had, it has an extra NBT tag on it now, put it in a glowing item frame, and it runs an animation. Uh, so clearly this you know, is running really fast. It would be nice to do each frame for longer. Uh, the alternatives for this are putting those middle three command blocks up on a redstone clock, or just repeating frames multiple times. Um, and I have a setup over here for making the creation of the map a bit less tedious. So I have these maps here where it's just repeating the same map uh, for half a second at a time to make the animation smoother. Um, so I will just take these shulker boxes full of maps. I'll take just a map here Plop it down in that item frame. And then it's just a matter of putting a shulker box in, flipping this lever, and it'll empty out the shulker box and add all the frames to the map. Uh, so I will fast forward a bit and see you all when all of these have been added. Alrighty, so that is all the frames added to our new map. So I can just pick it up here, plop it in a glowing item frame, and we have a much smoother, slower animation than before. So yeah, that is basically it for this five block creation. I hope you enjoyed. If any of you want to try your hand at making animations better than I can, because I am not that artistic. Uh, that would be great to see what you all create. I hope to see you all next Friday. Bye-bye.